Content warning. Ladies and gentlemen, the following podcast is not suitable for all audiences, and viewer slash listener discretion is advised. For example, if when you just heard the term ladies and gentlemen, you immediately thought about how exclusionary it is, then it's probably best you turn this off now. She's not measuring properly. <laughs> that isn't 13 inches. She can't measure. She's measured the shortest distance on the pizza. It's not a straight circumference. The fuck? I'm not wrong, am I? It's, it's not. I love when your ADHD kicks in. It's not ADHD, I'm just it's, angry. It's not a straight circumference. Just every time I'm pissed off doesn't mean it's ADHD. <laughs> Rob Mulholland and a fat cunt doing a podcast. Hello. I No, I don't like that at all. Well, it's happened now, hasn't it? I know. You've just, just got to live in this world that I've created for us. <laughs> Imagine if a rapist said that. Well, well he just did. Well, it's happened now. <laughs> You've just got to live in this world that I've created for yeah. us. Yeah. That's what you are. You're a, you're a word raper. A word raper. Mm. That's what you're going with. Yeah. Yeah, you think that's equivalent, is it? And Me I, calling you a fat cunt. And I am just as much of a victim. <laughs> <laughs> any, yeah. any... And like a regular victim, I'm going to blame you for what just happened. <laughs> you shouldn't have worn. You shouldn't have worn that outfit. You shouldn't have worn such a revealing top with no, such a should... low cut neckline. No, I could see your big fat tits. <laughs> that's, what, that's what made me do it. How oh, were you meant to? Yeah, I mean, I mean, to be honest with you, what I should have done is I should have taken more precaution over protecting my drink. Exactly. Put your hand over it. Yeah, I should yeah. have worn that nail varnish that you dip in. <laughs> And it turns. Imagine that. That's so bad, isn't it? It shows you how fucked up <laughs> life is for women. Dimply you've got, fucking you've got to wear anti rape nail varnish. That's like. It's how in danger women are. Yeah, we, we're you not wearing your no rape nails. Yeah. Well, it's on you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Instead of no more nails, but no more rapes. <laughs> But no more, no more nails is a foam that you push yeah. to... Uh, through a big cork gun. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a weird way to seal your vagina, isn't it? <laughs> that's one way of stopping it. <laughs> Just seal oh, it up. Oh, you think you're going to have sex against me against my will? Well, what you didn't count on is my uh, no more rapes. It's absolutely sealed shut in there. Best of luck. Oh, dear. We've started strong. Yeah, we have. We have. This is a difficult one. Uh, two minutes in, and we've done a little impromptu... Um, little rape riff. Little... <laughs> Jesus wept. No, but at the heart of it, there was an important message... There was. ...about how women... That women need to fucking shut up and... <laughs> Jesus joking, Christ. Joking, obviously joking. It was an important message that they shouldn't have to work... Special nail. Yeah. Imagine, right? Here's the thing. Yeah. Next time you go on a night out, you yeah. don't because you don't drink. But imagine yeah. you. I go on nights out still. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but just no, I don't. No, you don't. No, right. you don't. If you don't drink, you're not on a night out. Sure, but I'm out no, on a night. No, but you're not. You're not participating. All right, all right Mickey Flanagan. I'm not out. Out. <laughs> no, but like... no, but you're not. You're not. You're not participating. But I'm there. No. No, you're I not. I am physically there. You're physically. I'm physically in but the you're area. Not, you're not on a night out. Right. You're just the... Right, but what if I've done okay. loads of drugs? You're on a night out the same way that the bar staff are on a night out. Because <laughs> well, you're there. Why do my drugs not count? What, well, sorry? Why do my drugs not count? Because you don't take drug drugs. You take... I, I occasionally take drug drugs. All right, if you're taking drug drugs, yeah. fine. Okay. But if you're just like... I'll oh, do a line right now, mate. Fucking, I'll show you. Go on, then. I don't have any. I think... Oh, no, I did find... Actually, when I went to that wedding the other week, I did find a half a bag of cocaine in my pocket of my suit. Really? <laughs> yeah. I bet you took it out and your ex-girlfriend was like... Mm. Yeah. Oh, maybe we should make up. <laughs> yeah, nah, so I didn't I didn't do it. I was driving. You should have got it to uh, sniff it out your hand like sea biscuit. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good girl. It's a good girl. Oh, she likes a sugar lump. Well done. Yeah. I but it, it, to be fair, it is incredibly rare that I take drug drugs nowadays. It's been like since pre-pandemic, I think I've done anything. I don't really take drug drugs nowadays. Yeah, I'm... I will be doing in a couple of months. I'm off to a festival, and I will Ooh. be getting off me bollocks. Is that beat herder? Yeah, ugh, yeah. don't like it. I love it. Are you doing the comedy there? Yeah, that's up. Like I get a free ticket every year. Do the comedy on the Sunday. Yeah, half hour sit to an empty tent. Golden, wander off and do more drugs. I have done beat herder twice. Uh, mm. The second time I got asked to do it last minute. Yeah. And um, 
That's because the booker is slack. Yeah, and I got there at, uh, and they put me on first at the uh, Fable 12 o'clock spot. Yeah, it's so I brutal. Was, I was performing to people who were coming off a come down. Yeah. And I was not happy about it. And I sort of made my feelings clear afterwards that there's, you should have told me yeah. what was happening beforehand. Yeah. Because I think it's a bit of a cheek to go, oh, yeah, come perform at Beat Herder. And I'll be like, all right. And they go, oh, you're on first, by the way, and everyone's dead. Yeah. No, nah, no. It's a fucking rough gig. There was one comedian, I'll tell you afterwards, I'm not going to say on air, I'm not giving a hint at because can't be asked. Okay. Who um, who told someone off in the audience for doing drugs. Oh, you told me this. Yeah. Are you doing drugs Are at the do- drug festival? Yeah, it's like, mate, you're at a three-day rave. Like, you're the one in the wrong if you're telling yeah. people off for doing drugs. They're just trying to survive. They've been there for two and a half days already. Mm. They need that cocaine. Exactly. Leave them to it. Exactly, because nobody does a festival naturally. Yeah. You know it's what I like mean? If you, if, you go to, if you go to an orgy and they go, can everyone stop jizzing everywhere? Yeah, That's what yeah, he's yeah. done. Can everyone stop taking Viagra? Which yeah. I imagine that they would if you were ah, an If you're at an orgy, yeah. Yeah, Because, you, you, you know, like... you want to... Want to keep going even after, like, with Viagra, does it stay up after you've come? Yes. Right, there you go. An orgy, that's useful, isn't it? Have you it? ever taken Viagra? Yeah, I have. I got spiked with it on my 30th. I got spiked with Viagra as well. Um, did nothing to that, to be fair, because you've got to, like... Yeah, I know, st- but then I woke gonna... up the next day with, like, the, the mother wo- of all fucking hard on. Yeah. <laughs> I was so hung over the next day, I do not remember. Like, this one was, like, I was... We did the Wade Boggs thing of, like, counting on my chest how many drinks I'd had. And like, oh, okay. I woke up with over 30 check marks on my chest. Ooh. And a lot of them were cocktails. Ooh. I was in a bad way. Big guy. Yeah, it was a bit, yeah. <laughs> and I was full of cum. Um, Can I have another pina colada, please? And could you mark a little thing off on my chest? It's my 30th. Yeah. Although, no, I have actually, I've used it in an emergency. I had a bit of brewer's droop. I had to be like, just give it half an hour. Brewer's one. droop, is that a real ale? No, it's like... It's when you can't get it up because you've had too much whiskey, in it. <laughs> so I had a bit of that going on. Yeah. I thought it was very funny. It, it was sound a like bit, a real. Yeah, album, I, get, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, yeah, I've, I've, uh, you know, I've the, been the, yeah, with it. This this girl was like, I just, oh, you're not into this or something. I was like, no, I'm just fucking hammered. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. just trying to explain that. It's like, no, very into it. Great. I'm enjoying it quite a lot. Yeah. But there's a lot of marks on my chest. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a mess. I've had many cocktails today. Yeah. Mm. It was a different day, but yeah, I had had many cocktails. You big, look at you, you big shagger. I liked cocktails. Do you? Yeah. And what sort of cocktails do you go for? Something fruity, mate. Hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, 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 but no, I like... I liked, um, if the shoe fits. A tequila sunrise. Oh, lovely. Fuck off. Like lovely. a sex on the beach. Well, it's different. What, are you like different. an 18-year-old girl in Ibiza for the first time? Yeah, the mate. fuck are you doing drinking tequila sunrise? You're Gorgeous. a grown man. It's nice. No, you should not be allowed it's to drink. Toxic. No, what you're doing is toxic. No, you're no, being toxic. No. You're being very toxic. Do you know what? There's toxic masculinity, and then there's just having fucking standards. No, why you can't shouldn't I, why be can't allowed. I? You shouldn't be allowed to have a tequila sunrise. I'm not allowed to have a delicious fruity drink. Uh, not a tequila sunrise. Why? Or a sex on the beach. What's wrong with a tequila sunrise? I... Can I have a vodka orange? Mm, just. Right, so if I swap the vodka for tequila, not okay, and add a little bit of, what, what's that red, grenadine. Yeah, that's, grenadine. All, that's all the tequila sunrise is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's gre- the, yeah, I think it's the grenadine that pushes it. <laughs> what, grenadine's gay? Is that what you're going No, with? it's not. It's not you ever, you, ever, you ever drunk a squashed frog? It's not gay. It's just, it's a bit too much. A bit too so, much so what? Yes. Yeah, yeah, what you're saying is... <laughs> I'm no, gay not. for drinking it's not. fruity it's drinks. It's just a bit weird, that's all. It's, a bit, it's not weird. It's w- all right, okay. It's weird to be so repressed you can't enjoy a no, flavourful no, drink no. because you think it's gay. No, no, it's not that I think it's gay. It's not that It at is. All. You've just said it's many not. times that you think it's, it's gay. genuinely, genuinely not. And I think there's nothing wrong with being gay, unlike what's you. It, what it is, is it's just you having it is a bit weird. Why is it there's weird? Certain dr- all right, okay. So... If I went to the pub yeah. and I was having a pint yeah. and all my mates were having pints yeah. and I stood, I stood there sucking a Smirnoff ice. Yeah. A Smirnoff ice. Yeah. Right. Smirnoff. Yes, yeah, sir. Right. Sir. Sir Smirnoff. Sir at the beginning. Yeah. Mer. Smirnoff. <laughs> right. You've had a little hyphen at the start of that that didn't need to be there. It's after the creator, Stephen Murnoff. Right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Again, very different context, right? 
It's the same thing. It's not. Oh, sorry. So, so it's not. No, but the reason right. that that's I'm, not right. I wasn't drinking a tequila sunrise at three p.m. in the boozer. No, no but right. I was drinking it in a but, fucking like in a but, in a northern quarter bar or on a beach or something but, where where a cocktail is perfectly appropriate. The same reason that the Smirnoff Ice. <laughs> you just can't say it, can you? What? How do you say it? Smirnoff. Like how it's meant to be said, Smirnoff. Smirnoff. It's not Smirnoff. You got Smirnoff. You have to Smirnoff. Right. Smirnoff. Okay. Try it now. The same reason that you're drinking that Bacardi Breezer. <laughs> <laughs> you're sat there with a reef, right? right? Everyone else yeah. has got a real ale and you've got a reef. Yeah. That's a bit off. It's different. It's not. It's the same. I'm not concept. in a real. No, because I'm not in a fucking real ale pub having this. You've put me in an entirely different context to make me look a cunt. It's not how it works. No, but the thing is, is if I'm is in a cocktail bar, the tequila. Why sunrise, is it weird to have a cocktail in a cocktail tequila bar? Tequila sunrise and the sex on the beach are there for twenty-year-old basic bitches that have seen Love Island and think they're a bit classy. Yeah, that's and then what they they're see there me for. drinking one. We've got something in common, and now they're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're dipping their fucking nails into the drink. <laughs> Sharon, your polish has gone blue. Run away from him. That's not grenadine. It's rehypnol. Um, so. But like, I'm totally right. I'm in a cocktail bar. Right. And I'm gonna go. I'll just have a part of smooth, please. No, there are certain cocktails that are acceptable. Right. I've got. I've got to have an old fashioned. An old fashioned is acceptable. And pretend I'm in Mad Men. Yeah. Like a fucking Peaky Blinders cunt. An old. And fa- I would have an old fashioned on occasion. An old fashioned is acceptable. I would have them on occasion. All right. Okay. So you think that I'm just gonna say oh, old fashioned amaretto sour that kind of thing? And I am. But yeah. there are other cocktails that are more acceptable like that are more in the middle. Mm. <laughs> fucking woo woo. Um, a mojito would be acceptable for right. you. I would, margarita. I would say a margarita would be yeah. acceptable. My old my my classic house party drink. I used to drink margaritas. What? So I, a margarita was a margarita in one hand and a can of lager in the other. Oh, margarita. Pizza and beer. Oosh, oosh. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Okay. That's acceptable. Right. Stuff like a fucking sex on the beach is not acceptable. It's a great holiday drink. If I'm on holiday in the sunshine, I want something a little fruity, nice. Oh. God, you're weird. That's not weird. It is weird. It's not weird to enjoy fruit-based drinks. It's weird. Stop calling them fruit-based drinks. Well, it like is a fruit-based drink. Mm, it's just odd. It's not odd. This, the, look, I take drinking very seriously, and as someone who's quick... Yeah, sorry sorry for having fun with it. You don't have a say in it anymore. No, I, I... Look, I did much more drinking than you have done in your life in a condensed period. No, you didn't. I did. You think you might have done, but you didn't. I drank, I, I drank a bottle of whiskey every day for a year. Yeah, you <laughs> fucking probably put a little parasol in it as well did, and mate. put some grenadine it in it yeah my problem was a right fruity last. based whiskey yeah. what's weird and gay about that yeah. fucking weird lovely though. sorry for sorry for enjoying drinks that taste nice this is the second pointless argument i've had in the last two days uh <laughs> I got into an argument yesterday with people online about diversity on stand-up comedy bills. Yeah, why are you bothering? Why am I fucking bothering? I, I, I saw that and you were like, oh, you're going <laughs> to... I was like, I'm not going to get involved, obviously, because it's going to be a circular I, argument I get that goes fucking, nowhere. I get, su- I get sucked in I every time. You're like, actually... Blah, 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 and it ma- drives me insane. How have you not learned that like reasonable points don't win in yeah. arguments? This bill's got men on it! Yeah. It's like, yeah, because a lot of the really good women were booked up fucking miles in advance yeah or some of them might have pulled or their agents didn't get back to you or something else happened i did enjoy there was one person in that thread who was like oh it's not hard to book diverse bills i always book diverse bills every single time and last week i did a a gig for them that was all white blokes (laughs) so most likely being hypocritical yeah it was a very funny night though also (laughs) also as well right if you run a gig in central London, yeah. it is a piece of veritable piss to put on a really good, diverse If you're bill. just choosing random comedians, you're going to get a diverse bill. And like you have fucked up if you're in central yeah. London and it's all white blokes. That's totally. on you. Uh, I'd, I'd even go as far as to say that a lot of city centres Most- can be... But, you know, it depends on the gig. Yeah. And it depends where. But also as well... Newcastle, there's, like, I can think of literally one ethnic minority comedian from there, you know? Best of luck booking a gig in fucking Scunthorpe and having everyone represented all the time. Yeah. 
It's not happening. No. And also as well, there's four spots on a bill. Yeah. There's four spots on a professional bill, and it's like, right, okay, we want our woman. We want someone from the LGBTQIA plus community. We want somebody who is non-white. We want somebody disabled. who is a disabled. We need somebody in there who is neurodiverse now. That's mm-hmm. a thing. Thank you. We need, Let's uh, get involved. We need class represent. Oh, no, they don't they care don't give about, a fuck class. about class. No, no, no. no not the biggest one. <laughs> no, no. It's fucking mental it's like, yeah. there's only four spots what am i trying to do here you know yeah. and You're so trying to make a comedy bill not a fucking benetton advert <laughs> and so what you got to do <laughs> is you get to the point where you go well they're not very good but they are a woman and the, the mixed race yeah. and i'm pretty sure they're bi yeah. So that's and to be clear, there are great comedians who are all of those things. Yeah. But they're fucking booked. Cause yeah, like, yeah. Because like ninety nine percent of comedy clubs want to have diverse bills. Yeah. So like every female comedian I know who is good is booked for the next two years. Oh, massively. And I'll tell you what as well. Every great act that I know is like, yeah, book me because I'm fucking quality. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, Although, to be fair, I would say, like, anyone who is, like, you know, has any of the diversity characteristics, fucking ride that horse. If you've got. Oh, a, I would as well. If you've got any fucking benefit coming to you from that, take it. Because, you know, like, I'm, you know, there are enough downsides to da- being a woman or an right. ethnic minority or whatever. If you get a fucking panel show offered because of that, take the fucking. Go for it. Exactly. And Best I'm, of luck to you. I, and I'm saying this as a pansexual man. <laughs> yeah, because you love food out of pans. <laughs> My, f- my pronouns are T-Fal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, fucking pastry sexual. I identify as non-stick. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am, I am genuinely pansexual. I am. Uh, yeah, uh, red, uh, pansexual means that you are open to fancying anybody yeah. uh, and having relationships with everybody. Who's the, who's the sexiest it's, man? It's just who's so the, who's, happened. Who's, who's, which man do you want to fuck? Oh. Seems so pansexual, there must be loads of men that you want to fuck and trans people. Do you people. know what? I've not thought about it. Who's the sexiest I, trans so, person? So here's the thing. Here's the thing about my pansexuality and don't you dare try and undermine it. It's <laughs> Would I? My, my pansexuality uh-huh. is very specific in that I've only ever dated women and I've only ever thought about women sexually. Right. However, yeah. I am not closing the door fully on anything right. else. Well, you can't afford to cut off options, can you? <laughs> so, so the fact that the door is ajar, mm-hmm. even a millimetre... Well, even talking about a jar, you're talking about a food container, isn't it? <laughs> Even the fact that I've left the door even a little Your crack door's a open. jar of Nutella. <laughs> I, um, you should see my arse after all them men that I fancy. Oh, um, you, you don't, though. Name me one man you fancy. Oh. Just one, just one man. The shortest should be easy uh, for a big pansexual like you. No, I'm not a big pansexual. You You're see, pretty big. Put in the <laughs> You're an XXL pansexual. Listen, you are putting things into my mouth, and as pansexuals, we don't like that. Mm, I Mm. thought that was kind of one of the things you were into. No, 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 we like thinking about it. Right. Yeah. But not actually doing it. No. Uh, Right, that is is a straight man. So, no, 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 it's not. I am going to Google the word. In fact, Google it, put it up, pansexual definition. I know, it means you, 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 uh, but it means you are sexually attracted to all people. Uh, No, it's... it's, There has to be some element. I've not, I've I've just not closed the door. On, uh, on, there might be a sexy man. Yeah, who? Davy Day on Love Island. He's fucking well fit. I don't know who that is. Are you not watching the new Love Island? I don't care. Um, like, I, uh, you know, like, <laughs> if I want to watch people kill themselves, I just watch that documentary where they jump off the bridge. <laughs> Pansexuality. I thought Love Island would go quite well with your fucking cheeky woo woo and your <laughs> and your tequila sunrise. Pansexuality is sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction towards people regardless of their sex or gender identity. Thank you. Right, that's me. Okay, who do you have a sexual, romantic, or emotional it's, attraction towards? It's all been women so far. Right, and but it's, it's nothing to do with the fact that they're women. All what? Well, sorry, it's nothing to do with the it's fact been that a, they're women. It's been a coincidence, right? Just it's a massive been coincidence. A massive coincidence. You're a pansexual who has never felt attraction to a man. 
Uh, not yet. Not yet. But that that is what I just said is a factual statement. I'm waiting for it. You're waiting for it, but it hasn't happened in any way, shape, or uh, form. It might have happened, and I've just forgotten because. Right. So so you ha- right. Pans- a pansexual <laughs> has sexual, romantic, or emotional attraction. So you have listen, to have listen, the attraction. Listen. It's not just you could have the attraction. I am not because otherwise, literally every human on earth is fucking pansexual. I am not letting definitions get in the way of my pansexuality. That is how word, words work, though. No, De- it's not. Words should definitely come I, in. Definition comes into I words. I choose to define how I want to be defined, yeah. and I choose no. to be a pansexual. Well, I choose to not believe you. <laughs> Well, I think you'll find that that's hate speech. I don't think it is. And I want you arrested. And I want you cancelled from comedy. And that's the end of you. Good luck with that. (laughs) Yeah, I'm sure sure all the people... I'm sure you're going to get all the LGBT community on your side. You're like, obviously, your people. Exactly. Yeah. I just need to uh, play the flute and yeah. they all come. Like, have you seen the pansexual flag? Let's have a look. It looks like the Romanian flag with the colours turned up. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that's your flag then. Happy to take that. You've got to suck off one guy to be a pan. I'm not having it. <sighs> no, no, no. I can think about it. But you haven't even thought about it, though. Uh, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about sucking you off right now. Okay, are you into it? Ugh. Yeah, that's not a pansexual. Like, no, it's just not you. Yeah. It's just not you. But if there was another... Um, ga- that Davide off Love Island, right. very attractive man, let me think about it. Th- Ooh, brilliant. Th- Belting. Th- oh, j- sh- sh- Ooh. Ooh. Oh, p- p- oh, belting. All over, all over me face. Oh, that's cracking, that. That's right. cracking that. Yep, yeah, exactly. So, live at the Apollo, if you right. want to get in touch with me. Um... Tell you what, there is a man I'm weirdly attracted to. Oh, God, it'll be a Leeds player. No, it's not. Um, it is. I'll, I'll just uh, get him up. Uh, it's, it's Eduardo Camavinga. I think he's beautiful. What? I think he's fucking beautiful. He's got. A, you he... mean Real Madrid player Eduardo Camavinga? Yeah. I just think there's somebody really like. I just think he's, he's weirdly beautiful. He's a very pretty man. I don't think he's a very pretty. Look at his fucking neck. Yeah, it's just something about him. He's got this weird, like, sort of like svelte, almost alien quality to him that I think's uh, very alien. attractive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. There's something about him. He's, he's sort of like otherworldly, is what I mean. He's, he, I think he's a very attractive man. There you go. I wouldn't have that down as your type. Uh, also, Ivan Tony, I think he's very handsome. Really? Yeah. You've think... got a thing for black guys. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Likely, that's who I'm into. Yeah. So I'm. What's that black called? Sexual. Black sexual. Black sexual. I think we've got to come up with a better name. Than that, what's it? All right, I'm gonna Google what it, what is it called when you're only into black guys. <laughs> I think it's called being a fat woman. <laughs> I just want a man with a dick I can feel. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't, I don't think there is a specific term for it, but yeah, oh, God. But yeah I'm into black guys. So. It's, got, it's, it's got to be a big weapon to penetrate four rolls of flab, hasn't it? Well, it's just because, like, you know, like traditionally black guys are into, like, bigger asses and, like, you know, fat white women have them. <laughs> but I imagine bigger shapely asses, no? Not necessarily. Depends on the guy, I think. Really? I think, oh, yeah. I think culturally more black guys are into, like, just bigger women. Oh, and yeah. obviously, there's there's there's, uh, there's there's people of every ethnicity who are just into big glasses. I have They're only called fucking freaks. <laughs> I've only ever been in relationships with white women, mm-hmm. and I've only ever dated white and Asian. Right. I have a huge thing for Asian women. Yeah, I know. But yeah. Muslim Asian, not. See, my my my, uh, my dick is an equal opportunity to employer. Yeah. I have. No, uh, mine's mine's absolutely not. I I have I have slept with a full spectrum. What like autism and. Yeah, definitely, yeah, 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 a few times. Um, uh, yeah, but you've got to admit that there's some races that are just sexier than others. Uh, there no. are, there are. There no, are, I though. think, like, the, like, I'm genuinely, like, there's not one I'm not into. Really? Yeah. Not into Eskimo. Right. I, I think if the, I, I could see there being a fit Eskimo that I was into. Really? Yeah. You reckon? Yeah, I could see it happening, yeah. All right, Google fit Eskimos. Okay. All right. A Seximo. <laughs> Sexy... Eskimo or Inuit, we might have to put. Um, oh, right, yeah, no, we've only got. E- oh no. What? What's Go happened on. here is what comes up is sexy Eskimo costumes for white people. Oh, right, okay. And those are sexy, but they're also very. They are cultural appropriation. Isn't it? Oh, fuck off. Hello, the there we go. Repro- sexy Eskimo. Look at her. Really? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I bet her minge is fucking well cold. Yeah, Look at that. She's she's wearing a skirt and it's snowing. Yeah. Sexy what about the uh, what about 
let's have a look at the costumes for... Yeah. Is that really problematic, is it? Well, I think if, uh, generally, if white people are doing anything, it's problematic. It's, it's, uh, here we go, she's sexy. Behave! <laughs> sexy Eskimo, I think she's fit. Okay, she's fit. There we go. Found the sexy Eskimo, wasn't that hard? It was kind of hard, though, wasn't it? Well, it is now. It wasn't that hard. I typed in sexy Eskimo, scrolled down a little bit. It wasn't the hardest thing I've ever done. Do you know what's really funny is that there will be some people who are listening to this podcast who were like, oh, they're going to talk about diversity within comedy. And within five minutes, we started talking about sexy Eskimos. Yeah, but if they've got through the opening of this episode, I feel like everything's been uphill since then. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you this though is right. if you are a, se- a sexy Eskimo it's a hard. seximo we'll go with seximo it's fine no because I can't pronounce things with S oh, yeah. a seximo <laughs> um, if you are a sexy uh, Eskimo yeah uh, and you want to start comedy you will be on live at the Apollo in three years oh 100% yeah because yeah. there is no Eskimo no that's true yeah that's it yeah that's pretty good uh, you've got to have like you know yeah. proper representation these sure. days sure I'll book them yeah yeah, you'll also harass them in a green room, innit? I will not. I have, I've got a thing. I've never fancied comics, never been into comics, right. never wanted to do anything with a comedian. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, I've... Uh, yeah. Which comedians have you bummed? <laughs> no, obviously not. What? Obviously not. What? I'm obviously not going to come on this podcast and go, shag there, shag there, shag there. But there's, like, there's a couple. Really? Yeah. So you... Wouldn't... No one famous. Like, you know, we're talking circuit level. Really? Are they still going? Yeah. Have they killed themselves as shame? <laughs> no, yeah, like they're still about, yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, you're going to have to... Can I guess? Uh, you can, but I'm, I'm not going to give you any inclination whether you're right or wrong. Really? Yeah, and probably don't guess because it's going to be really bad if you do. I think it could be gross. <laughs> is it... Okay, is it... Would you be proud of saying that you've had sex with them? Yes and no. Depends on which one we're talking about. <laughs> I feel like the no is going to know. Yeah. I feel like the no is going to know. No, nah, there's not like a full no, but I wouldn't necessarily be like, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, no guessing names. No guessing names. No guessing names. Locations? Mm. They're London-based, Manchester-based? All over the shop, mate. All over the shop? Yeah. So they work in a shop. So like with an Australian comedian? Really? Yeah. What was her name? No. No. Oh. Please. No, not on pod. I'm not right, going to out okay, them. Okay. It's very much up to them. If the women involved want to out themselves, that's on them. <laughs> right. But like, I feel like, you know, shagging me is a shameful secret that they should be allowed to keep. Okay. Um, if you are listening to this and you've had sex with Rob Mulholland and you're a comedian. Firstly, sorry. And you, <laughs> and you don't feel shame about having sex with a psoriasis ridden tequila sunrise drinking freak. <laughs> it's a fruit based cocktail yeah. then please get in touch so I can know who it is and we can all find out okay and we can all I don't think I don't think the, the inbox is going to be flooded with responses to that and we can all you know sort of work it out together mm-hmm. and we can all Jojo Sutherland no <laughs> just, yeah. just wondered yeah. okay cool. no, Jojo's a great mate yeah. yeah well there you go and if she's down let's go let's no, really, Jojo's jo- 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 me pal. Every time we got close to like making a, a good point, we yeah. just fucking drive ourselves into the ground again. Yeah. And I'm here for it. Yeah. Patreon is a platform where you can give us money for this bullshit that we do. Yeah, let's go with that for a starter. Yeah. yeah, other podcasts have actual people that make the jingles, but we just do it ourselves. I'm just going to riff it, mate. Yeah, other, other podcasts aren't as talented as us. <laughs> so I think that's what well, it is. that's one way of putting it, isn't yeah, it? it is. Uh, if you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, then mm. sign up to our Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Dead Men Talk Pod. And for three quid a month, what do you get, Rob? <laughs> oh, a lifetime of trauma. Uh, you get an extra episode every single week from ourselves. That's yeah. extra content. You get access to all the extra footage that we make, all 
of the live show recordings. So when we do the live show roasts, we get them recorded. Yeah. And if you watch the, if you like watch uh, the podcast uh, visually, or even if you're listening to it, you can't see the videos that we're watching it because you know YouTube won't let us. Like if we put any one of the videos we show people on this, we would be banned from YouTube within ten seconds. So the only way to see them is if you join our Patreon. So join our Patreon, and then you join the Discord server. You link the two together. There's a little button. Yeah. You link it to, and then you can get into our secret members only area where we will show you some of the most traumatic things you've ever seen there's absolutely loads of good reasons to join the patreon but probably the best of all is that you help safeguard uh the podcast and the future of it because <laughs> it's the only way that we can make income and we have to pay for editors and you know there's lots of costs associated with yeah, this the lawsuits the lawsuits the non-disclosure agreements the non-disclosure agreements mm-hmm. The super injunctions. The super injunctions, they all yeah. add up. Yeah. And, and you don't get as much for uh, ransoms as you think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it depends who you kidnap. I know, but the ones we've got, uh, no Sh- one's asked. Shannon Matthews. Yeah. She's gone down in value. Mm. She's like, People don't believe she's gone. <laughs> she's, she's like a cryptocurrency. Yeah. So, uh, sign up to us with actual money. We don't take cryptocurrency. We're not nonsense. Hidden, hidden in a draw coin. Yeah. Keep, keep your fucking... <laughs> Dog coins and fucking hot dog fucking NFTs to yourself. We want actual money, please. Three pounds. I've got a couple of stories for you. Do you want to see? All right. Okay. Oh, like new stories. So, uh, I like because like if you if you heard the resignation of my voice, I thought you were about to tell me a very long and boring story about your life that I wasn't interested in. It's not like me, is it? No. I have nothing but the highest quality yarn. Highest quality yarns. You're really struggling with S's, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and if you remember, quite often yeah. your stories either end up with nothing happening or Death. something really bleak. Yeah. Like quite often it'll be a nice. You'll be like, oh, here's a funny story. And at the end you'll be like, and then their mum died. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, right, um, is it... All uh, right, so you've sent me things. Which one do you want? So, I want the news article first. The, the top one, the first link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there's another one that's, that's just an attachment. Okay. <laughs> okay. This right. article... From, I'll, I'll be honest, right, from the, from the title yeah. and the nature of this podcast, yeah. I didn't think this article was going to be this. Well, what was the title? So, what you put was 15 inches. Yeah. Right. So knowing this podcast, I was like, well, that's definitely a dick or a dildo. Yeah. Or like the circumference of someone's anus. Yeah. Because, like, those are the only things you measure in inches, apart from pizza. And that's what it's actually about. So this is from Kent Online. Yeah. And this is a classic compo face. I am, uh, well, you know what? Re- let's read it together and you tell me what you, you tell me the side that you're on. Okay. So the, the title is, go up. All right. Uh, the title is. Uh, Westgate Pizza in Canterbury de- defends size of pizza after customer complaint goes viral. Yeah. And a Canterbury takeaway has defended itself after a customer kicked up a fuss by whipping out a tape measure to inspect the size of a 15-inch pizza. Now, right, so, before we go any further, like, no matter what size this pizza is, don't be the cunt with the tape measure. It's just not worth it. Okay, so how big... Would the pizza have to be yeah. in order for you to complain? It'd have to be very noticeably not 15 inch. I'd have to be able to eyeball it. I'm not getting a measurement out. <laughs> right, okay. So so what's worth ringing up the shop and mm. saying what the fuck? Yeah. Nine inch? Nine inch I definitely would. <laughs> right. Because that's that's tiny comparatively. <laughs> yeah. And obviously Nine and also, inch is just a pizza. And you've got to remember that like also like pizza area increases exponentially. Like, an 18-inch pizza has far more pizza than two 12-inch pizzas. That's very true. That's very true. Due to the nature See? of... maths. Yeah, you're learning. Se- sexy Eskimos. <laughs> um, so, right. So, right uh, would you ring up for a 12-inch pizza? Uh, pos- maybe, but I'd have to be really aware it was 12. You'd have to say 12-inch on the box, probably. <laughs> really? Probably. So, if you ring up a 50... Because you know what a 12-inch pizza looks like. Yeah, I've had a few. And if they said 15-inch mm. and it rocked up and it was a clearly a 12-inch pizza... Mm. It'd have to be very clear. Mm. It'd have to be very clear. It was. I'm not I'm not bringing a tape measure with me. Like, no, 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 unless no. Well, this, this is unless a takeaway. This, unless this guy's a fucking chippy. Like, you know, why has he got... Uh, I mean, like, you know, does chip... Does wood... Work? All right, okay. Like, not like... Yeah, yeah, not, yeah. Not an actual chip shop. Yeah. Like, I was trying to think of a reason why he might have a tape measure on him. No, but it's a takeaway. So you'll have a tape measure in the house... 
Sure. So it's been okay. delivered. Right. Okay. He's not turned up to the takeaway with a tape measure. Well, that's, that's, what, I'm be... that's what I'm saying. If you've that's done that. That's cunt behaviour. No, exactly. No. It's been delivered to his house. Right. And he's got this look. So I've got a tape small. measure, Andy. Okay. Yeah. All right. 12 inches would you measure? May I, I might do. Well, this point. pizza yeah. measured in at 13 inches. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're within the acceptable range there. Well, I don't know, mate. I think you're within the range. But what the um, uh, uh, unhappy after realizing the um, the purchase from Westgate Pizza was two inches shy of its advertised <laughs> diameter, the diner took to social media to voice their disappointment. This is where you're being a cunt, right? <laughs> you go into social media, right? Ring him. He did. Right. He rung them and they went, fuck off, lad. All right. I, again, I'm still kinder with the takeaway yeah. on this. Uh, so he's put the post, which has gone viral after being shared by Lab Bible. Fuck off, from, Lab Bible, you cunts. Ridicule for its pettiness, while others, uh, I'm, I'm, the views of Rob and Horn do not represent the views of Demon Talking. Uh, Just because you're would desperate to get work with Lab Bible. Fucking love to. Yeah, you'd love um, to get work where they, uh, they fuck you around for ages, don't pay it, and they never actually release it. Fuck you, Lab Bible. Oh, is that what they did with you? Yeah, that's what they did with Again, me. if you want content that's good, come to Quinn. Um, um, and also don't pay him for it. They're horrible shits. Fuck like Bible. I know. They're absolute parasites. Well, they could have paid you in Keela Sunrise. Parasites. <laughs> yeah, they could have done it. would have been happy. Um, uh, coming from ridicule for its pettiness, while others judge trading standards should be notified. Worked at Westgate Pizza, who say the widely served post is horrible to see, argue that pizzas shrink slightly when cooked, not by two fucking inches, That's they don't. That's not that much over a big pizza. I, I could see it being that much shrinkage. In... No. No. Half an inch. Right, but like, how much How much are these guys meant to like measure each pizza that they're cooking? You just make one about that big. It's a pizza. They're making it just like mm. spreading dough out in it. I don't think, looking at the place, I don't think that they're making it. I think what they're doing is they're buying fucking boards, basically. Well, then that's not their fault, is it? Yeah, yeah. it is, because they're buying it 13 inch and they're going, fuck it, 15. I don't think they are, though. I think they are. Um, works at Westgate. Uh, oh, sorry, they right. defended the... the size of their produce and stressed how a full refund was offered to the disgruntled customer. Oh, right, that's him being a cunt then. Yeah, they've offered him a full refund. What more could he want? He's got the pizza and he's going to get his money. What more does he want, honestly? He wants his 15 inch. He's like, yeah, I don't want the money, actually. I want my extra two inches of pizza. <laughs> what a fucking greedy fat cunt. This is definitely one of yours. <laughs> He's definitely one of yours. He's definitely fat. He hundred percent. This is not a skinny guy's move. No, skinny people don't do this. Skinny people are be no, like. No, actually, I. Well, actually, I probably shouldn't eat that much pizza. <laughs> I actually think maybe he is skinny because a fat guy would just eat the fucking thing. Wouldn't even notice. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to measure his shits? <laughs> this doesn't feel like a fifteen-inch pizza poo. <laughs> um, let's see oh, here. Man. So, so oh, yeah. he's on a Canterbury resident's Facebook page. <laughs> Fucking hell. By Coral Heath. Oh, it's a woman. Wow. Coral. Coral. Coral's got to be a woman, hasn't it? Or a non-binary. I don't know. She wrote, there we go. As we ordered the 15-inch pizza from Westgate Pizza, received a 13-inch and was called Liars Sick. Um, because it was. Yeah, yeah. And said it was 15 because that's what the box says, then hung up on us. I honestly don't care what the box says. I ordered 15, so expect 15. Uh, da, 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 da. I love the post with the tape measure. Oh wow! Here we go. Here we go. We can actually see the image. They've cut the bottom bit off though, so you can't quite see. But yeah, it does look about thirteen. Also, she's not measuring in the centre. She's not measuring the longest bit. Look at that. That's off. That's off. That tape measure needs to go there. She's not measuring properly. <laughs> that isn't thirteen inches. She can't measure. She's measured the shortest distance on the pizza. It's not a straight circumference. The fuck? I'm not wrong, am I? It's, it's not. I love when your ADHD kicks in. It's not ADHD, I'm just it's, angry. It's not a straight circumference. Just every time I'm pissed off doesn't mean it's ADHD. Right? This is just. It's not, though, is it? I am right. I am right. If she's going to be this pedantic, you've got to measure it right. What? Look. Look. I didn't think Measure it there! I didn't think you'd get so upset <laughs> by this. It's just, I fucking hate complaining, moaning cunts. I hate moaning. I really hate moaning. <laughs> right. And look, just fucking measure it properly. If you're going to be that pedantic, measure it properly. I'm fucking knocked over the choo-choo Steve train now. I'm not angry. Oh, God. Fucking hell. It's really funny. It's not, I am right, though. She's not measured it right. That's that, not in the centre. That is correct. Thank you. That, that, is, that is a wafty measurement. That is a wafty measurement. Right. So I reckon it's probably about 14 inch, which is definitely well within the remit 
of a 15 inch that shrinks a little. Oh yeah, 14 is well within the. the That's remake. a 14 inch pizza. Yeah, she's been a cunt. She's been. She's a had cunt. a 14 inch pizza, measured it wrong, complained, got offered a free re- full refund. And then gone on Facebook. And it says here, look, when you cook the it's pizza... It's stuffed crust as well, so it makes the width a little smaller. There yeah, you go. No, look, look, look. It says when you've you, got to fold the crust over. When you cook, the pizza size shrinks. This happens everywhere. It was made in a 15-inch pan. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. What? You just Sorry, get so just... excited by the idea of a 15-inch pan as, as a pansexual. That was the one. <laughs> As a pansexual, <laughs> it just turned me on. Fair enough, fair enough, mate. I sh- I'm sorry I questioned it. You're more than welcome. It's all right, Don't mate. worry about it. I accept you for who you are. Thank you. It's right. all I've ever wanted. Yeah, Don't... a fat, greedy cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry just... I ever doubted just... what a greedy bastard you are. Just... I just don't want to be treated different. Sure. This no. is the main thing. I, I promise you I will carry on treating you the same. <laughs> I promise you that. We just can't help it, you know? Yeah. Right. So they offered a refund, which they took. They took the refund as well. These cunts. <laughs> these fucking cunts. They took the refund. I think when you take the refund. That's the end of the fucking you're conversation. Not, you're not allowed to then stick you the You can't complain in. more. You've had a free pizza. You're complaining about your free pizza wasn't big enough. Oh, my God. It was free. <laughs> I want to smack these cunts. <laughs> I want to fucking wrap a 15-inch pan round their head. Why are you so upset? Because they're being such bell ends. They are being hard. To, like, a little fucking business. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And they're, like, they've lied for a start. They've not measured it properly. Yeah. Talking shit. Got a free pizza. They got exactly what they wanted. They got the refund. Then they still complained after that. Yeah. I think they're horrible shits. I'm bang on time with the pizza shop. What was the person's name again? Uh, like, yeah, let's shout them out, ruin their life. No, let's just leave it. It's coral something or other, wasn't coral. it? Coral. Yeah, there's not going to be that many corals near this. <laughs> That's the problem. It's yeah. her in a casino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, just like they the just said, uh, we, I don't understand it. It's the customer's users before. We've never had any issues. Well, what a fucking dickhead. What a dickhead. You've wound me up now. Really? Yeah. Are you that upset? It just pisses me off, people like this. Just moaning cunts. It's pedantic, isn't it? And it's like no one is like trying to fuck you up. Like, yeah. you know, at worst, someone's made a bit of an error and then corrected it. And if someone makes a mistake, an honest mistake and then corrects it, yeah. end off. If they'd have received a 15-inch pizza mm-hmm. that is perfectly 15 inches, yeah. but instead of it being margarita, which it looks like that was... Yeah. It was uh, pepperoni. Yeah. Uh, is that a bigger or smaller fuck up? Bigger. If it's pepperoni, because like I've had it quite a few times where I've been sent meat. Yeah. And like that is worse to me. If I accidentally eat meat, like pepperoni's not so bad. I'll see it and be like, I'll have to ring and go pretend there's another pizza. Yeah. But I've had stuff where there's been meat in it and I've eaten meat and then like that. That is upsetting to so me. If, so if they said, yeah. I'm really sorry, Rob, yeah. that you ordered the veggie supreme yeah. and we instead sent you the extra meat, all of the dead uh-huh. animals in the world yeah. uh, pizza, we're really sorry, we'll give you a full refund. Yeah. Is that all right with you? Yeah, it's happened to me. I've had it before. I had it, I had it a few weeks ago. I ordered vegetarian sushi. They sent me regular sushi. I rang up and they went, ah, oh, we're really sorry, we'll send another one round. Is that how they sounded? No. <laughs> Let's just, let's say the accent was appropriate to the dish, right? <laughs> Vegetarian, yeah. <laughs> so they, uh, but like they apologised. They were nice on the phone. They were like, "Ah, oh, really sorry about that. We'll send you another oh. one." No, stop it. They were I like, "We're really sorry, Mister Mulholland." Yeah, I have sent out the wrong dish. Yeah, yeah. It was a woman. Um, anyway, she was very nice. This, sat, sat another one. No complaint. She's also a woman. No this complaint. This is how we sound. People make mistakes. We right. made a mistake. But I did have one. I'm a woman. I did have one with a, a curry house local to here. Curry house? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so okay. They well. said, I, I'd ordered paneer and they sent me chicken in the curry. Yeah. Right? And I had a big gob full before I realised. And yeah. I'd like mixed it all up, the rice and the thing and everywhere. I ring them back and I go, right, you've sent me meat. Yeah. I ordered paneer. The guy was like pissy about it. It was like really stroppy. He was like, oh, well, what, what do you want me to do? I was like, well, can you send me some food I can eat? And he was like, oh, I mean, I guess. And he was just like, right, can I have another rice as well? He goes, you can't have another rice. All right, I've mixed it all into the chicken now. And yeah. he's like, we can't have rice. It's not. We didn't mess up the rice. I was like, yeah, but I need 
the rice to eat with the curry. Yeah. And he was just like, oh, well, you're going to have to give us the food back. And I was like, you can have it. Yeah. I don't want it. It was this huge fucking kickoff. Anyway, someone else rang me back like five minutes later, like, I am so sorry. Clearly, they'd had their dickhead on the phone who'd gone, This guy's rang up. He's got fucking ordered vegetarian, not got it. He wants free rice. And the manager's gone, Give him the rice. Yeah. And like, they rang me back, like, so apologetic. And then I was fine. As soon as you like, as soon as you acknowledge your mistake and correct it, yeah. it's over. Because, you know, the thing is, is how much the rice costs to make pennies is pennies. And they always have rice yeah. because they're a curry house. It's knocking about. Yeah, it's knocking about. I'm not it's... asking for. I'm not asking for the world, am I? Yeah. In the end, they ended up sending me a free nana swell to apologise. What, nice. what, what did she say? <laughs> it sounds like a name for a grandma. <laughs> Fun when words have double meanings, isn't it, Freddie? That's, that was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like you know, in the end, they sorted it out. And curry was still shit. I've never ordered from them again, but. <laughs> Imagine if they just sent you one of their grandmas. Yeah. We are so sorry. We apologize so much. Please, please accept the rice, you know. Yeah. Um, that's my sure. Asian grandma. Uh-huh. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> um, but yeah, rice is pennies. I know. Rice is absolutely pennies. But like, I do like, you know. And like, your custom is invaluable well, because you've never been back. Yeah. But listen to it. Like, whilst I'm like, you know, as you well know, I'm quick to anger. Yeah. Like, I uh, I have a relatively short freeze, but I'm also as quick to calm down. Yeah. Like, if you just, if the problem's solved, I'm over it. Yeah. You know, like, it's just when people are obstinate when the problem's not solved. If they've caused a problem and they don't, you know, offer yeah. any conciliation. That's when I get really annoyed. Did I tell you about the time that I was in a um, fucking Italian restaurant yeah. and we got a waiter come yeah. over to us? Hit finally an accent <coughs> I can do. Ah, hello, Mr. Freddy. I'm afraid we do not have 17 kilos of pasta like you order. <laughs> Shall I get you the trough? <laughs> we have a pet pig outside. You come eat next to him. <laughs> My chef, here boiling your pasta in the bathtub like a usual. Eh? Um, they've got one of those gondola riders staring the pasta. Just four canettos. Give them to him. Uh, I've just got an image of you eating, like putting a stick in a Vianetta. Pansexual man, it's them, not him. Um, so, you're not a them if you're pansexual. Uh, what I ever want to be. Sure. Yeah, I'm what Apart from thin. <laughs> I'm not having you identify as not fat. Do you know what? From now on, I identify as being a thin cunt. Right. And I identify as a bigot, so one all. <laughs> well, the original odd couple. <laughs> So. He's a pansexual fat cunt, <laughs> and he's a bigot. <laughs> we like stood back to back in the promo. Yeah, yeah. and they'll both be on GB News. <laughs> uh, I got offered to go on that. Yeah, you're telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. just happy to do it. Right, I might do it just for fun. Okay. Yeah, and money for fun and money. Yeah. Uh, what so- better reason? <laughs> so, I'm at the restaurant. Right. Yeah. Guy comes over, waiter. Um, as they do in restaurants. Sure. I've been to one. Um, doesn't have uh, a pad and paper, which immediately Ooh. makes me upset. I Yeah, I don't like the memory waiters. It just makes me too tense. Yeah. Because like, right. even if they're amazing at it, it just makes me nervous. So just pretend. I'm with my other half, right? And we I can't remember what she orders, but I ordered a large pepperoni with extra onions. Okay. Okay. What a weird order. I love I love onions on a pizza. Extra onions. Yeah, it's into put onions on the Yeah, no, I get I get I get how that works. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. confused by the practicalities yeah, of the order. Yeah, yeah. You're like, no, like onions on the pizza. And <laughs> like, then I ordered a tequila sunrise to drink. Lovely. You know, classy. What, what a, a fun time. Fruit based cocktail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I order a what did I order, Rob? A fat cunt special. No. Yeah. It's what called a it? quin. What was it? A can bucket re- of slop. Can you can you remember what I ordered? Yes. What? Go on. You ordered a large pepperoni pizza with extra onions. Thank you. Yeah. And do you know what they brought me? Yeah. Have a guess. Uh, a large pepperoni pizza with no onion. No. They brought me a spaghetti carbonara. <laughs> it's quite a way off. Well, well, right? This is what my other half said. She went, oh, well, he was close. 
I went, what, Italy? Because that's, that's that is what, not close. That's what, that's that is you, not close. That's what you mean by that close. is not close, right? As much as I love disagreeing with yeah, you, yeah. that is not even remotely close. <laughs> it's as far as two Italian foods can get from each other. You might as well have brought your fucking panna cotta. <laughs> Like, that is not... A creamy pasta is not the same as a fucking pizza. I know, right? And also as well... I think you're within your rights to complain. You, yeah, you don't get that points... That isn't this. You, you're not whipping out a tape measure. You, you don't get points for just bringing me food of the same country. In an Italian in restaurant. Italian res- if you'd have come back with a burger, yeah. like, that would have been... Yeah. Oh, well, that's too far. I would say a burger is closer to a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> That is closer, isn't it, than a carbonara? Those two things are closer. It's like pizza and burger, you would have in the same sort of... Having said that, though, there's no Italian restaurants that do burgers, so what you would have to do uh, no, I reckon is there is. he'd have to go, ah, oh, I see what this customer wants, and then walk outside. Mm. That would be well restaurant. funny if he just came back with a Mackey's for you. Like, <laughs> I assume this is what you want. <laughs> But no, a carbonara is not close to a pepperoni pizza. Spaghetti carbonara, yeah. yeah. And I was like... So obviously you got to complain. Yeah. 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 Like, that's and, fair. And the guy was like, oh, all right, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. And that was it. That was it. But it was one of those as well where, like, so I watched the waiter yeah. and I watched him for the rest of the night and he was just doing the same thing and it was like, just write give it down, him cunt. a pen. Write yeah. it down, cunt. Yeah, At yeah, that yeah. point, like, because I know you're trying to show off that you're the waiter who can remember everything. And that's great if you can. If you get it right 100% You've of got the to time. be 100%. But the one time that you get it wrong, get a pen. you're back on pen You're duties. back on pen, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, fucked it. Get me a little iPad. Come on, we're in the 20th century. Yeah. So that was uh, that was my story. Yeah. 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 That's a more valid complaint than this prick. I'm going to have to get this off. And the worst, the worst thing about it is, obviously, as you know, uh, they don't make spaghetti carbonara in a pan. So I was... Right, furious. Fuming. Do you not? you got to make a carbonara in a pan. Uh, There's actually, got to be a pan involved. I actually make a, um, uh, I actually make it in a wok. Right, but that's a type of pan. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you're not into but... Asians, though, are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm into, I'm into Muslim Asian, not Asian Asian. Right, Not okay. gambling Asian. So you'll have a tandoor, but not a wok. <laughs> exactly. Right. Exactly. Okay. Um, Whereas yeah. I love wok-fed food. Do you? Yeah, and wok yeah. food, yeah, I'll have a wok, yeah, anything out of a wok, love it. Yeah, yeah. I've, I I use my wok regularly, but yeah. not necessarily for cooking. I like uh, a stir fry. Yeah, but I always find with a stir fry is that you get coerced, you get tricked into thinking it's a quick meal, and it's not really. It is. You can do a stir fry no, in ten minutes. The cooking of it is quick. The yeah. prep of it takes ages. No, just buy a bag of stir fry stuff. Oh, you see, I don't do that. I just buy one of those packs of stir fry veg all chopped up. Yeah, I don't. Buy know a that. pack of noodles. Buy a pack of sauce and yeah. some fake meat. Some fake meat. Yeah. God, that's a sad dish. Nah, it's nice. Like, there's, there's really good fake chicken now. It's, like, genuinely good. No. You've never it... eaten any of it. I don't want to. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Right. You know, and they're like, oh, the McPlant and stuff. Yeah. Nah. The McPlant's like, all right. But, like, I think it's so funny, like, turning your nose up at that when you're willing to eat a McDonald's burger. Like, that's any better. It's miles better because it's dead animal I know what it is yeah corpse there's that's, literally that's nothing wrong with eating there's nothing wrong with eating animals I mean there is what well like the health the environmental factor the fact that it's gross. right the health of the health of what you okay so eating meat isn't bad for you eating McDonald's meat definitely is sure McDonald's. highly processed red meat is bad for you sure but just like steak from a butcher's not bad for you it's bad for you in the quantities that you eat it if you eat like a you tiny bit, about, sure. You say that but about like anything. red meat is uh, the biggest cause of colon cancer. Fine, I'll yeah. take it. Yeah, I'd find it so funny if you got bum cancer. I, 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 I can't honestly, tell you how much I'd laugh. You with your little fucking your beard gone because of the chemo. Yeah, your little bald head sat there all sad with a little colostomy bag. Watching all I'd those piss myself. Watching all these prolapses going. If only. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah. yeah, okay. But like McDonald's, McDonald's food is gross, and like, I loved it. Look, and it's tasty got, and delicious, but it is fundamentally gross. I've got the, so morally, there's no problem with me eating 
that's fine. But you can, like, it's not like, but like, uh, even if take I'd, the moral dimension out of it, it's not any grosser. I'd it's definitely happily, it's less gross. It's made out of peas rather than like mashed up, like I'd, sprayed yeah, off the bone cow. Pre- it's pretending to be something it's not. And as a pansexual, I imagine if you go to Heston Blumenthal's me. restaurant, you'd be furious. Exactly. That's why I've not been. Right. That's why. Yeah. 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 yeah sure. Nothing to do with the prices or anything. Uh huh. Tiny ass portions. Yeah. It's just it's stuff. Can I have nine of these? <laughs> I'm I'm not asked about killing animals. Genuinely, I know you're not, not, and that's fine. Like a lot of people aren't. Like that's okay. I don't but care. I've I've made peace with the fact that I'd happily do it myself. And yeah. if anyone listening out there owns a farm and has a bolt gun and wants me to go over for an afternoon, I'm genuinely happy to. I believe you. I'd have a fucking great time. I'm sure you would. I'd find it very sad. But that's a different story. It's not grosser though. The plant is in no way grosser. What I'd do is I'd imagine all the pigs of yeah. uh, people that I don't like. Right. And then I'd. <laughs> Okay. I think you'd see too much of yourself in the pig. You'd see, watch one of them eating a big trough of slop, and you'd be like, you know what? We're not so different, me and him. People are all the same. Yeah. Were you holding hands with pigs? In little... <laughs> we only. Yeah. I'd li- I'd like but like to... a Coke advert. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like Kylie Jenner with a Pepsi. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, I, 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 I'd have no problem with just fucking up a chicken. Yeah. None at all. No, I get that. Like, and like, you know, I don't, I don't judge people for that. I was the same for years and years. I just, yeah. my perspective changed. And like, you know, I don't think any one of us makes enough of an impact on the world for it to matter that much. No, exactly. It's just for, it's just for me. Like, it's for me. My, like, the reason I, I just think meat is tasty as fuck. It is. Don't get me wrong. I will not for a second deny that. I loved meat. I was a huge meat eater. It's like my favorite thing. But it is actually quite easy to replace once you give it up. No, it's because your other half was a veggie that massively and you're helped. a pussy. And, uh, well, it, it was acid that tipped me over. If my... Yeah, you've said this before. You, you yeah. had a spiritual uh, connection with an octopus at SeaWorld or something yeah. like that. I personally think that it was your other half going, Rob, I do pay for your lifestyle... I pay for your food. She didn't pay for so my food. I'm not. I'm not, like, I'm like, I'm not yeah. that dependent. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. She w- paid the rent while I wasn't working over COVID. I'm not going to wash your dog bed unless you. Uh... Right. So you think, that's not my bed downstairs. That's for the dog. Oh really? Yeah. I thought it was where you. No. Oh okay. Fair yeah. enough. I sleep in the big bed. Do you? I do. What like cuddled up at her feet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Watching the door growling yeah, at night. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I just, I, I personally, like, if my other half turned around to me and said, hey, uh, Freddie, um, from now on, uh, I want you to not eat me, mm-hmm. I would go, well, how about you shut the fuck up forever? Yeah, I did that for a couple of years. Did you? Fair. I was like, shut the fuck up, I'm eating a burger. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do mom, mom. whatever I want to do. Yeah, and I did for ages. Yeah. Uh, like, look, I'm not saying her influence had no effect. It was definitely, there was a, you know, it was in the air, that conversation. Yeah. But I was totally committed to not being vegetarian. What could your other half demand of you mm-hmm. that you would say would be too much of a I don't, I don't respond well to demands, to be honest with you. So what if she said, yeah. listen, Rob, we've been together for how long now? Uh, four or five years. Four or five years. We've been yeah. together for four or five years now. I really want you to shave your beard off. Well, firstly, this would never happen. She is obsessed with beards and has made it very clear if the beard goes, she does. Ah, oh, that's why she's so into me. Anyway, go on. She's also not into gross fat cunts. Uh, she, she's quite beards. bigoted. She hates pansexuals, I'm D- afraid. Does she? She does, yeah. <gasps> Shocking. No, nah, actually, her last boyfriend was bi. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. <laughs> Ah, bye, ex. <laughs> yeah, that's what she said when she dumped him. Bye. He's like, yes, I yeah. am. It's like, no, yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> bye. It's like yes. a Fraser bit. <laughs> uh, who? <laughs> Who's done? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> what? Yes, that's his name. But right, so you're gonna have to think of something different because that wouldn't I, happen. I, no, but let's say it did. Right. Okay. She said, "I want you to shave your beard off," yeah. and I hate beards; they're grotesque. Right. Would you do it? Might give it a go, see what I look like. I haven't seen my face in ages. Okay. What if she said, oh, you shave your eyebrows off too? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> not <laughs> thing. See, you wouldn't shave your eyebrows off to save your relationship. Nah. Really? There's other women in the world who'd be who'd no, fine no, with no. me having so eyebrows. She... If it's look, if it's a deal breaker, here's here's right, here's a thing that I have as well. If someone makes an ultimatum, yeah. I always choose the personal thing that didn't make me have an ultimatum. 
Right, okay. So she's like, it's me or the eyebrows, the eyebrows win. Really? Because she's made the ultimatum. So five years you've been with this woman, yeah. you wouldn't shave your eyebrows off for her? No, I wouldn't stay with her because she demands I shave my eyebrows off but and she that's said, fucking weird. I love everything else about you. Don't care. I'm not going to make any more demands. No, because once you, once you give an inch, they take a fucking mile. You don't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> Right. <laughs> she's asking you to shave your eyebrows she's not taking over nakatomi plaza is she <laughs> it's the worse f- if you ask me take over if she took over nakatomi plaza and came back with all that money i'd be delighted <laughs> no i'm not i'm not like because she's she demanding weird shit eyebrows. no because i don't respond to that sort of stuff what if she said is a thing it's not it's not her choice to make she said what about if she said listen rob mm-hmm. I want you to stop dressing like a fucking Tony Hawk's creator character. <laughs> what? First, I'm going to have to buy an entirely new wardrobe. She'll buy it, yeah. Right. Right? But she said, from now on... What I am like, I dressing like? What style am I getting? Um, shirts. Oof. And, uh, yeah. Six. She's going to dress me like a work at Foxton's. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, yeah. she can fuck off. Uh, Again, anyone who tries to like change me like that, you can. You're welcome to leave. Like, really? If, if you're not into who I so am, she don't said, be with me. I want you to change your clothes. Yeah, you wouldn't do it. No. Wow. Well, I wouldn't be with someone who would make that sort of demand. No, but if she just decided. Well, then she's the per- sort of person who makes that sort of demand, and I'm not into it. That, that's so a deal you're breaker not, for me. So you're not willing to change yourself at all for somebody. Well, like, I, I, I'm willing to work on myself. Like, there's many flaws with who I am, as you're well aware. So you've got to see it as a flaw. Yeah. And, like, how, how if like if you're fundamentally, like, if you hate how I dress and how I look, just go out with someone who you do like what they look like. Yeah. Why, why are you trying to change who I am? Yeah. See what I mean? Okay, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. There's plenty of bitches in the world, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like, reckon I am very attached to this one. I like her a lot. You, like, but you know, like, and one of the reasons I love her is because she would never make that sort of demand of me. She's very chilled. And she I, likes. I who feel I am. like you're so ready to get up and leave just because that's what your dad did. <laughs> I feel I'm like, on a hair trigger, I mate. I feel like if your dad had just stuck around, you'd yeah. be like, "Yeah, I'll wear different clothes. Why? Not? I'll yeah. shave my eyebrows. Fuck it." Yeah, yeah. What about if she said uh, giving up comedy? No. <laughs> She, like, and to be fair, like uh, when we were first going out, right? Like she, um, she, the first three gigs she came to, she came to like weird shit gigs. Oh, first three in a row. It's always tough when you're seeing somebody mm. as a comedian. You can guarantee yeah. that the first time, and, you're and dying the worst, on your ass. the worst thing is when you know you've died and they come to you and go. I thought it was really good, and yeah. you're like, "Fuck off!" Oh, she didn't even do that. <laughs> like after the third one, she was like. You're really talented. Have you thought about going back to uni to do graphic design? Oh, is that what she said? Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I had to be like, I had to be like, I had to be like, look, I am really good at this. I promise you, you've just seen shit gigs. Then the next one she came to, I fucking ripped it. And she was like, that was amazing. They really liked you. And I was like, that's what it's normally like. Wow. I was like, I am a professional. This is my job. To be fair... She deserves a lot of credit for sticking with you for three. I know. It's, it's quite impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because this is definitely my band's going to make it vibes. 100%. You know. And like it was that stage of my career as well where I was like just becoming a professional. Yeah. So it's like, you know, there's not much evidence I can give someone. Yeah. Other than, you know, them seeing me smash it. Yeah. So when she finally did, it was a relief. I, um, see, I've been, the entire time that I've been my partner... I've been a professional comedian, mm. so for me, I, there's never been that weirdness. Yeah, and like it was just like it was just when we first met. Like it was either in like old relationships where I became a comedian halfway through. That was obviously more difficult. Yeah, it's really tough yeah. as well. It is tough when you're getting into a relationship with a comedian because you have to take sit someone down. And you have to go listen. I really like you, but mm. you need to know that no matter how long you're with me. You are going to be second to every gig. Yeah, like there are going to be times where I'm just gone a lot. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's your birthday. Well, it's also two hundred quid in Norwich. Yeah. So, uh, oh. And this is it. And like, the, you've got to be with someone I think who is independent enough to like have their own life going on. They don't yeah. depend on you for all their like entertainment and everything. You need someone who's you know strong and capable by themselves. Yeah, it actually helps loads if you're with somebody who doesn't have a nine to five job themselves. Okay, like I'd say, my missus does. 
Um, yeah, but like but she you works know, from she home, doesn't she? She works from home at the moment, but like she will work in the office. But like it works generally with us. We're good. Like you know, because like she's she doesn't need me. She enjoys me exactly because yeah. you're a little pet. Yeah, uh, that is essentially how it is. <laughs> like she would be probably better off without me financially absolutely financially definitely um but like you know so like you know she she i think that's a nice thing though she just like enjoys me it's it's kind of it's kind of sweet isn't it knowing yeah. that you've guarded a relationship with somebody and all that you can offer them really is that you make their lives a bit worse yeah <laughs> but i'm funny right we will have a right laugh yeah it's the chaos theory isn't yeah. it chucking up a little bit of that's you know. not what chaos theory is but anyway no, this is a different Chaos Theory. Right, this is Chaos Theory 2. Is yeah. it it's a sequel? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, this time it's uh, more chaotic. Right, okay, cool. You never heard of that? No. No, you're a fucking idiot, oh, though, aren't Well, you? we're all learning. Yeah, you've never heard of Chaos Theory 2. I, yeah. This time it's more chaotic. <laughs> but yeah, like, I think that's a nice thing about our relationship, though. I like that. That's very sweet. Yeah. Should we uh, finish out with some videos? All right, let's watch a couple. Um... Oh, which one shall we start with? Um, I want to show you a photo first, actually. Oh, okay. Got sent in a little photo. Uh, this one, uh, this is a guy who has clearly made some excellent decisions. Oh, my good gravy. Yeah. So this is a photo of uh-huh. a... Um, I, do you know what? I don't even think a man, a boy... He looks young. Uh, I would guess, yeah, teenage, maybe 17, 18. He's got that thing where a child has got a fat, podgy, childish face because mm. puberty hasn't really kicked he could, in yet. Honestly, this guy could be anywhere from 15 to 30. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, it depends how baby face they are. Um, and what what's, what else is uh, significant about this photo, Freddie? Because it's not uh, just a, a baby face boy, is yeah, it? Yeah, so what's happened is the right eyebrow appears to have been scalped off. Yeah, the whole eyebrow has been cut out of their head and removed. And it has been stuck on the nose, uh, sorry, sorry, on the lip, uh, nose and lip, sort of in between like a little moustache. That's a little fun moustache. What a fun party. What the fuck has... How? Is this a punishment? I think this is someone who's severely mentally ill. (laughs) You reckon? You reckon? The guy who's cut his own eyebrow off for a fun joke... It is quite funny. It though, is funny. It? Like, it's, don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not funny. It's commitment to the bit. It's incredible commitment. Imagine what. Like, can you imagine being at this party? Yeah. You talk about it forever. Imagine, I hope it's at a party. He looks like he might be alone. Imagine walking into A and E with that. Like, All right, Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> That's it. He's definitely called Chaplin for the rest of his life, isn't he? Oh yeah. He better. He better be good at perfecting the walk. <laughs> It's amazing, that, isn't it? Did you know that Charlie Chaplin won entered a Charlie Chaplin lookalike contest yeah. and came third? I have heard that, yeah. It sounds like something might be apocryphal. No, it's true. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I, I looked up because I didn't believe yeah. it either. Yeah. Um, yeah, God bless him. God bless him. What a good little lad. Yeah. I bet it fuck. How would you even do that? What, did you get, like, razor scissors? Blade. Re- razor scissors. blade. Scissors. No. You can't use scissors. You can't snip off an eyebrow with no, scissors. No, I thought, like, use one blade of the scissor and just... You need something sharp in the scissors. Like you need a razor for that. You think? It's quite a clean cut, isn't it? So it's got to be something that just cuts through. It's a through. lovely cut. Something that just cuts clean through. To be, to be f- able to lift the whole bit of skin off. Yeah, to be fair to him, <sighs> I mean, he's missed his eye well enough, hasn't he? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He does look a bit silly, though. He looks a bit daft, yeah. I think he's going to regret it. You think? I think it's one that you're going to regret. No, I, yeah. think, I think he'll grow into it. What, the facial scars? Imagine. To be fair, he doesn't look like he can grow his own facial hair. Maybe it was Movember and he was feeling left out. Do you know what? I like the idea that he's on the uh, Channel 4 TV show Hunted. Yeah. It's like <laughs> this he's is got his a, disguise. I need to change my disguise. He's cut one of his eyebrows off and stuck it on. And the hunters have gone, excuse me, do you know, uh, he looks like you, but he has both his eyebrows and he doesn't have a moustache. <laughs> he's like, no, no, no. No, I have no idea where he could possibly be. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do you want to do, do you want to see a video of the world's quickest circumcision? Uh, it's not the same kid, is it? It's not the same kid. No, <laughs> I hope not. Anyway, otherwise he is wildly unfortunate. Okay, okay. Should we do this as the last one? Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is. Uh, it, it looks like outdoor yeah. security footage. It is. Yes. This is going to be. Do you know what? I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it's not the UK. No, it doesn't look UK. It looks too sunny for a start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like um, Colorado or something. Yeah, it could be North America. Um, who knows? But anyway, shall we, shall we have a little watch? Ah! 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 
I don't know why. It, I don't know why it's so funny to me that he pops his slider back on straight away afterwards. <laughs> so do you want to describe what you've just seen? I've just seen a man on a moped going on the pavement, uh -huh. which is illegal. Yeah. And karma catches up to him because he falls into the spiked fence. A spiky metal railing, yeah. Yeah, and he stands up, and at first he's all right. Well, he's in shock. Yeah, he's in shock. He's in, so it, basically, his whole, like, torso and groin drags across. He's, like, face down. He drags across the top of this spiky fence. Yeah. It's going to do some serious damage. And he... Uh... He ends up, like, impaled on it. If you have a look, his, yeah, like, chest end, is, like, impaled, impaled on it. Impaled, Watch it pull but... off. Oink. Oh, so the he's... second where he's checking out what's happening. Oh shit! Ah! Is yeah. something in his shorts is just dangling? Is that? Well, I think I think that might just be his shorts torn apart. Oh god, he's torn his shorts. Yeah, his to shorts are totally. Oh, torn they were on. nice shorts, those. Ah! Literally the least of his worries. Ah! 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 That guy god just drives bless, off. God bless that car. Like, what the fuck? Come on, you got to stop for that, dude. He just looks because it looks... He accelerates as well. L looks like a you problem, my friend. Ah! He's out of there. Ah! Oh, that's an injury from it. Wow. Oh, no. That's, oh, no. That's, I hadn't seen this far. That's a... That's I hadn't a, seen this far. That's a willy that's no longer a willy. Oh, no. Pause it. Oh, no. I hadn't seen this far. I hadn't. I, I didn't, know you keep saying I didn't, it. I didn't know that was the end. Yeah. That's, so, oh that, no. That's a willy that's no longer a willy. Oh god. That is the deforestation <laughs> of a penis. So, so. It looks like a lumberjack's so, been at it. So, there is a still image at the end of this video that I wasn't aware was there. Yeah. And it is of that guy's crotch. And it's just his dick's been ripped off. Do you know what his, his dick has been fully ripped do off? Do you know what his penis look? Because it's it's red in the middle. It looks like you know that thing that they used to seal envelopes in the eighteen hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's had a letter from Henry the Eighth. <laughs> if you look, if you if you zoom in, there'll be the Queen's wax seal. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. I didn't know that was there, mate. I, didn't, I knew it was bad, but I didn't think it was rip your whole dick off bad. Wow. Eh? That is the worst accident you can have. Yep. I'd rather die than have my cock ripped off, I think. I think I'd rather have my cock ripped off than die. I don't know. Yeah, no, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to be painful, but live at the Apollo in a few years. I'm a eunuch. <laughs> the thing about being a eunuch is... Wow. <laughs> His ball bag looks in a bad way as well. Because the balls have survived, but it looks like crispy chicken. I would say... Doesn't it look like Korean barbecue? I would honestly say, if my dick was like that... Well, it's not a dick anymore. It's a stump, isn't it? It's, it's gone. It's There's nothing. no penis anymore. So I would say to the doctors, listen, get rid of me testicles. I don't want them there. You're transitioning. Make me the most beautiful vagina. I think that's your best option at this I point. I think that is. I think... You can have a fallow plaster. You can have a fake dick made. You can... No, but it's... It's... It is mad that, like, someone, like, pulled up to check it was okay, saw his ripped-off dick and just went, nope, and just drove off. <laughs> I'm not getting this car valeted. <laughs> full of dick blood. It's crazy. Like, that's why... Can you imagine that feeling, though, of after that accident, looking down and realising your whole dick has been ripped clean off? He's got his whole dick... In his hands, he's got his seven But like, dick. doesn't th doesn't this photo make the fact that he immediately put his sliders back on weirder? Yeah, 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 yeah. If my dick's off, I don't care about my footwear. He's ah! at it. That's what's dangling round his fucking ah! pants, isn't it? I reckon his cock's on the road somewhere. It's probably that little dart ah! bit. Ah! But he's gone running ah! off to look for his cock. Wow. Wow. That is pretty gnarly, that one. Shit. Jesus. That I feel for that guy. Do you know what? I actually, My dick has gone fully inside me. So I actually don't feel for him. Uh, and the reason being is, number one... A scooter on the pavement. Scooter on the pavement. Number two, he's not wearing any protective clothing. He's not. He, he has looked. He's made, he's made absolutely no effort to protect himself even the minimum. How has he even fucked it is what the weird thing. I think he's driving too close to the <laughs> railing. He just clips it and it wings him. He's a fucking He's idiot. going way too fast. Yeah, he is an idiot. But again, I think his idiocy has been harshly punished. 
Mm. I would say a few broken ribs and a big cut. Fair enough. So what he should have done... I wonder where his dick gets ripped off. It must be, like, round here. No, I think it's the second... I don't know, you know, because like you've no, got to because, be going fast. To no, rip because it look where he clips. What, right, l- l- look, right. Oh, that might be his dick on the floor. There's nothing there. Look, right, and have a look at these railings and see if anything's attached. Are to we it. really doing this forensically? Like yes, this? we are forensically doing this. Okay. Right. So the slider goes over there. There's a little bit of dark material that could be a knob, and there could be a bit on there. It's that one could of Philip Pullman's knob. books. <laughs> Or do you reckon it's that last bit where he hangs on the railing that rips it off? Yeah, I think that's the bit. Yeah. Well, it must be like down there on the floor. He does run off that way, which suggests the dick rolled that way. That's his dick there. Do you reckon it just fell off there? Yeah. Why is he running away from it? You what? Why is he running away from it? It's, I don't think he's thinking straight, so, to be fair. I, I don't mean, think there's a lot of logical imagine thought Imagine grabbing on. it in your hand, the severed. It's pretty bad, though, that, isn't I'd it? I'd want to get it on ice. You'd want to get that on ice pretty quick, don't you? <laughs> Jesus. What, you mean presented by Claudia Winkleman? <laughs> da, 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 da. An ice skating goofy <laughs> presenting your dick. Jesus. Bruno Tonioli. That is... Ten. That is... <laughs> fucking gnarly that yeah it's bad isn't it yeah do you know what as well is if you look at this as well if you look at it forensically mm-hmm. there is so much other stuff that he could have so he could have ricocheted the other way and hit the car yeah would have been could have fine. bounced off the wall could have been bounced fine. off the wall in the gap would have been fine could have gone over the fence would have been fine there are literally two fucking sandboxes here yeah it's just it's absolute worst case scenario this accident yep just could not have gone worse no oh Mm. Don't ride a scooter on the pavement would be my advice after watching this. And also, if you're going to, just wear, like, a T-shirt. And well, a... Like a T-shirt's not doing much. It's a very hot day, so he's not wanting to wear leathers, but if you're riding a motorbike, you've yeah. got to wear them. But also, as well, if he'd have worn... Better any... to be sweaty with a cock, If he'd it? have... <laughs> That's, that's what the, I always say. That's the new tis better to have loved and lost, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Tis better to have been sweaty with a cock than to have never had a cock at all. It's my, it's my public service video, like clink clunk. It's like my version of it. <laughs> this is Rob. Rob as a hedgehog yeah. <laughs> telling people to look left. When you ride your bike on the street, wear some stuff so you don't lose your meat. You gotta... <laughs> 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 anyway, what a fucking horrible time. <sighs> oh. It's clear shock at this point, isn't it? <laughs> this dude is my favourite, though. He pulls up and goes, Are you alright? And then just goes, No. Cock off. Wow. Right, here's a question for you. Yeah. If you drove past mm-hmm. and you saw that and I'd a guy's seven uh, you'd let him in your car. Yeah. There's no way he'd be going in mine. Yeah. No way. The guy's cock come off. Yeah, there's been no way. Well, like, you've got a nicer car than me for a start. Yes. So like I'm not protective of my car. I exactly. Care. I uh have a car that I would be upset if dick blood went all over it. You can get it cleaned. The poor guy's got his knob. He'd ripped be off. getting it cleaned. Sure. We'll deal with that later. His knob's ripped off. I'm getting him to hospital. No, I'm driving to fucking Scunthorpe this weekend. I'm, I want to get him to hospital. I want the story for a start. I want to see how the rest of it goes down. <sighs> Mate, I, I think I'd be like, oh, cool, an ambulance, spy. I'd get him to hospital. Would you? I'm a, I'm a much nicer guy than you. I wouldn't at all. Yeah. Like, I, And I wouldn't feel bad about You'd it. You'd be either. that guy. I would. If I drove off from someone who'd lost a cock, I'd feel really bad about it. No, nah, I'd be fine. Nah. If you lose your cock around me, I've got you. You lose your cock around me, you're fucked. Well, there you go. I think that sums up the fundamental differences between <laughs> me and Fred. I think that if you wanted to know, like a shorthand of who we are as people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll help you if your knob falls off. <laughs> um, for me, you're on your own. You have yeah. to spend the rest of your life dipping your fucking fingernails into your drink to see if they turn colour. What a callback! Thank hey, you. Who says we don't have structure? <laughs> Probably the people who listened to us at the beginning when we talked about diversity to sexy Eskimos inside five minutes. Shh, shush now, shush. Um, shall we tell them to do stuff? Um, uh, do stuff. Thanks, yeah, guys. Like, join our Patreon and that, innit? Uh, do us a favour. Uh, if you're enjoying Dead Men Talking, sign up to our Patreon. It's patreon.com. Yeah. No, don't, 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 don't. Genuinely. <laughs> genu- 
Gen no, genuinely stop doing it because I, I was going to say this at the beginning. Stop doing it. Why? It's my least favorite thing in the world. I know that's why I really enjoy no, it. No, I don't like. Well, I'm not. I'm not going to plug anything. That's all right, I'll I'm do not it. doing anything. I'll do it. Join join our Patreon, um, so I can buy a bigger soundboard to annoy Freddie with, so he can't talk. What is on the Patreon? That's on the Patreon. No, we you need to that. like legitimately stop doing this now. Like stop. <laughs> like legitimately stop. I don't think I'm going to... Uh, I think you need to. But I don't think I'm going to mm, fucking make me. Steel break. This is it. He won't change. He won't, change, won't change for anyone. I won't he change. He won't change exactly. for anyone. I am who I am. Won't... I am my own special creation. <laughs> won't shave his eyebrows. No, won't stop playing prolapse for noises. He's just a renegade. Yeah. Join our Patreon, though. It's three quid and it's dead good. There's loads of stuff on there. Like what? I don't know. Stuff. Extra episodes. Yep. Yeah. Sounds good. What else? Live shows. Yep. Yeah. Uh, when you say live shows, what do you mean? Oh, our live roast shows. Yep. They're dead fun. You can watch them. Yeah. Rob's punishment set. Oh, yeah, I did a punishment set. That's fun. Uh, you can also... Send us in videos as well as another you thing. You can also watch all the videos as well. Yeah, all the... Like, if you want to see someone's cock get ripped off, join our Patreon. It's literally three quid a month as yeah. well. Uh, like, Costs nothing. Join our Discord as well if you... Like, if you... Like, that's like an intermediate step beyond just listening and being fully in the army of the dead. Yeah. If you, if you join our Discord, it's free. You can be in the poverty pen. It's cool. Uh, welcome in. It's fun. We all have an atter on there and like have a fuck about it's dead good fun and uh, if you've got any videos to send us uh, send them to 07520 644 931 on whatsapp 07520 644 931 now obviously injuries weird stuff all that sort of thing but send us more I'll tell you what I'd like more of weirdos like people really? with like fucked up fetishes and stuff like that. I'll ask know. some of my pansexual mates. Yeah, okay. But that sort of stuff, you know, just send us oddballs, weirdos. It doesn't have to be the grossest thing you got. It can be. Yeah. But it can also just be weird stuff. Okay. We're, we're generally into weirdos, freaks, the outsiders, all that no nonsense, aren't yeah. we? That's our vibe. Yeah. yeah. So we probably should have knocked the picture of the severed cock off before we started doing this promo. No, nah, let's keep it. Okay. It's the new wallpaper. <laughs> when we move into the studio, should we have that as a mural? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just have the middle bit of it, the one pepperoni slice of a oh, penis. Mate, let's definitely get that framed so it just looks like abstract art. It's just like the flag of Japan, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Uh, so, yeah, do all those things, and, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you for another episode soon, innit? So Bye! Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck you. Damn.